there my tunes. I'm back with another video. This time we're going to review the PlayStation 3D TV. Um, if you've seen some of my older videos, you know that I had a few problems with this when I picked it up. It worked for the first couple of weeks and then um, we had issues with the EROM uh, not working where I ended up ordering a replacement um, and then I went in there to change it to the new EROM that I had ordered off um, Amazon or eBay and uh, I couldn't get it out using my, I, I'm not what you call a very good solderer. Um, anyway, so I just knocked around in there with the solder gun iron for a while trying to get this EROM out and um, had no luck. So I put it back together thinking, oh, well, I'll just leave it until I can sort something. Um, and, and out of morbid curiosity, I plugged it back in and lo and behold, it worked. And it's worked ever since, coming up almost probably a year. Um, so I must have just knocked it around. I'm not too sure exactly what happened. Maybe there was just a missing link with the solder and I'd heated it up enough to reconnect it. Um, either way, it's been working flawlessly since. And so I thought, well, uh, I've had a few views on those videos, so I thought, well, why not um, go a bit more in depth and do a complete review of the hardware? And I thought going forward, I will probably start doing reviews of my goal will be to review every single 3D PlayStation 3D game um, and, and my thoughts on its 3D and the quality of the frame rate of that 3D. Um, and that will just be a fun side project to try and collect all the 3D PlayStation games too. And we can end up with the whole collection, which I think will be a really cool, um, you know, ongoing video series. So yeah, definitely like and subscribe and uh, follow, follow me on my journey of collecting every single 3D PlayStation game. Um, so anyway, on with the review. So first off, uh, as you can tell, the screen is very, very, very glossy. Just like PlayStation, everything Sony, they've gone for this ultra glossy, glossy finish. Um, you can probably see a few fingerprints and all that. I have tried very hard to wipe that off. Um, it is, it is a glossy screen. So, um, first things first, <laughs> where it is, as you can see, I have a window right next to my setup. So whenever I'm on the PC or PlayStation, um, I have to shut the window, uh, the, the curtain. There's no way you can use that with the window up. All you can see is your ugly mug. So as I sit there, all I can see is me. And uh, that's not a great, that's not a great video uh, or a great thing to watch while you're trying to play your game is just looking at your ugly mug. So uh, if you haven't got one and you're thinking about getting one, you definitely have to use this in a dark room. Um, this is just the unplugged at the moment, but I will plug it in and we'll, and I will continue the video once we've done a 360 view of it and had a good look. So on the front, you've got your two speakers on the left and the right, pretty standard. You've got your little PlayStation logo down the bottom, which I think is, uh, the coolest part about like one of the coolest things is, you know, as a PlayStation TV. I mean, there's just something that you don't see at the moment. You have PlayStation like certified TVs and things like that. Um, you know, it's pretty, it's not too big. It's, it's a good size. It's 24 inches. Um, I think that's pretty good. Um, as you can see, I'm actually using this as my primary PC monitor. I actually do have a newer monitor. I have a Predator, but I found I, uh, it just doesn't. Uh, it's fine, but you know what? It's actually too big. I actually like something a little bit that's a bit too much for me, so I've actually gone back to this, um, and it's I think it's great. And the fact that it has speakers means you know I don't have to have headphones on all the time when watching content online. Um, so that's the front. It's got its little swivel. I'm not going to uh, play with the swivel just because I've got it where I want it right now. But we can. Um, I'll turn this around and we can have a look from behind. So this is it from behind. As you can see, it's got another huge PlayStation logo in the middle that you'll never see because it's on the back where it has its subwoofer too. Um, they call it a subwoofer, but I don't even think it exists, to be honest. Um, it's pretty standard on the back here. Um, they have all the cabling on the sides. So we have a component plug connection at the top. And we have in here 
two HDMI's and a headphones output. So that's all you're going to get in the way of um, outputs on this. So it, it is constricted on, um, you know, connections, but that's, you know, yeah, that's just something that if you've got a problem with that, then this probably isn't going to be for you. Um, it's also got its buttons are on the back, so keep the front nice and clean. Um, you've got your standard power, volume up and down, um, source, menu, and your th uh, dedicated 3D button to turn it on. Um, it, the TV does have an auto 3D mode, like if it detects 3D content, it will change. But if I like, if I'm trying to watch 3D content from YouTube, um, I have to manually change it to either side by side or um, top to bottom because. Uh, it can't detect it when you try and do it through YouTube, but you can change it manually so you can start watching content 3D. And as you can see here, there's a button. So this is how you detach the TV from the um, base. So it's really great for transporting because you can just simply push this in and pull out the screen. Um, it's really cool. I really think that's that's quite a smart move. I guess it, were, it made packaging easier for Sony as well for boxing it up instead of having it being that wide to have the stand in. You just put it on the side. So that is a oh, and this model has a um, USB that is hidden under here. Just a single USB plug. Now normally you can't get to that. That normally would have a cover over it like this stuff here, all right? But when I opened it up to uh, change the EEPROM, I took that cover off to so I have access to that USB. I'm assuming that's a service USB for when they're repairing it, but if it's a technical thing, so, but I just lift the cover off and I use that for charging my headphones or using a USB fan or something along those lines as it's easy to get to um, so that's our physical show of the PlayStation 3d TV um, I'll set it back up and turn it on and we'll go over some of the more internal uh, like uh, system settings and things like that we are back without the flash so here we go let's have a look in the settings um, and we'll go have a nosy and see what's going on. So I think if I push this button here No, not that button uh, it is, is it this one this one There we go. We push the home button. We get our settings So in here we have our backlight Which we can turn up of course, let's do that. I thought I had set these but I think when I moved house It's been reset um, so we have, uh, you know, picture modes, we have your standard cinema, custom, dynamic, uh, we have brightness, contrast, colour, hue, sharpness, colour temperature, all that good stuff. Not, not a ton of options, but a few in there to, um, you know, get set up. Uh, sound is what you would expect. And then you have your 3D. We see this is where I was talking about, you can have auto top to bottom and um, they'll be side by side but there's no point doing that here other settings you have HDMI control so it does have HDMI control which is nice so if you turn on your PlayStation 3 or in my case my computer it will automatically turn on the tally um, you have signal information as you can see it's on 1080 60 and that's about it. So settings wise, it's pretty straightforward. There's nothing too crazy in here. But you know, you look at that looks. I think that looks absolutely fantastic for uh, this display. Um, let's have a look. Uh, so the other thing we can look at while this is playing is that's about all there is to show um, in two, like on the hardware and software side. We'll have a quick look at the glasses that come with the television. Um, I don't really have a lot of uh, thoughts on glasses as these are the only pair. As you can see, your ugly mug shows up straight away as soon as there is a reflection. So 
the major downside is this only works in a dark room. Okay, having a look at the glasses. These are them here. They are definitely one of a kind. I'm going to put them down. So you can see them. They are electric with batteries. They are chargeable. They don't have to be replaced. And their charging port is on the inside here. Or outside, I should say. It's on this side here. You can just open this here. And that has a micro... USB charger in there and these um, these don't take very long to charge and you get quite a few hours out of them now uh, if you are thinking about picking up some of these maybe you've already got the TV but you don't have kept the uh, glasses and you pick up up online please make sure that the seller tells you if they've already been charged or not or who have been kept charged um, I haven't had this issue, but people have said if you buy, if, if the glasses go 100% flat, getting them to do an initial charge can be quite um, hard. Um, it just takes a bit of luck to get them to charge. So it's best to keep them topped up. I charge mine every month or two. I just put it on for half an hour until the light goes out and then that, that's about it. Um, as I don't get, I don't use them all the time. Um, but they, they are, you know, they're reasonably comfortable. I can game in these for an hour or two without, you know, an issue. Um, yeah, and that, so that's, that's what you get. Of course, that's not 3D content. What I will turn on 3D and will show you what it looks like through the glasses, which will just look like 2D, but the 3D will be working. So I'm going to do that now. So as you can see, I've got some 3D content playing in the background there, and I've switched the monitor to top to bottom, so the 3D effect is um, enabled correctly. And then looking through the glasses here, I don't know how this is going to look. You can see it comes out clear. So the 3D is definitely taking effect, I can see it, even from this distance. Um, so yeah. The 3D is quite cool. Um, it is a novelty, but I think it, it definitely didn't get its time in the sun, right? I feel like it got missed. Um, so the 3D is very cool. And there's not there's a little bit of 3D content around. Not a lot, but there is some. Um, and you know when the glasses are on is they have this flashing light on the top. And so that would be what I would call... Uh, a full rounded review of the system, going over everything about it, and then, you know, just talking about how I feel about this device. So, if I had to rate this device, I would give it a solid 8 out of 10. Um, that seems quite high, but I think if you rate it for the time period it released in, I think that would be quite um, fair. I mean, you can't rate it on today's market because, you know, it just, just doesn't compete. But it does have that 3D effect that newer monitors can't or TVs just don't have built in, right? So having that is is awesome. Um, and would I recommend one? Absolutely. If you have a PS3 um, and you have a PC plugged into it, you can watch 3D content off YouTube, you can find 3D content online, um, and of course you can play the 3D games on the PS3. So there is content for it. I mean, there's only a limited supply of 3D content. There's no more being made, right? So you can go buy the 3D Blu-rays, which I have a few of, plus the games. So you have movies, games, and YouTube content. Um, so there's a, there's a bit to go around and you're not going to get through it all, put it that way, right? So there's plenty there. I think it's a, it's a worthwhile investment. And if you're a PlayStation collector or a Sony collector, this is something to put in your, a feather in your cap, right? And say, so I've got a PlayStation TV. Um, and you can show it off to your friends. So basically that's what happens. My friends come over and if they haven't seen it, I will show them a game in 3D. Um, and so... That's what we're going to do next, is I'm going to start slowly going through all of the PlayStation 3D games, 
and like giving them a rating and um that'll be really fun and we'll slowly collect up the entire 3d collection um so thank you once again for watching um please like and subscribe this channel is tiny and that's just a hobby for me so i'm you know this is just me being me um bit of a, a bit dry aren't i but we'll keep it we'll keep it on the light and um continue to make content and uh thank you once again for watching catch you later tunes